Hello, and welcome to episode 21 of Chemistry in 15 Minutes or Less. My name is Audra, and this is a review lesson on chapter 9, part 1, Stoichiometry. Stoichiometry began being used after it was discovered the ratio of weights of compounds in a reaction is always the same. That means that you can use the ratio to figure out how much of one substance there is if you know how much of another substance that there is. So we're going to work through a quick example together of the reaction between aluminum and cupric chloride, which yields aluminum chloride and copper. This is, to tie it back to a previous lesson, a single replacement reaction. But if we're looking at the balanced chemical equation, we're looking at Basically, what this means is that there's two moles of aluminum plus three moles of the cupric chloride, yielding two moles of the aluminum chloride and three moles of copper. So, out of this you can build a couple of different ratios. The first one is that two moles of aluminum gives you three moles of your cupric chloride, or the reverse of that. 3 moles of cupric chloride gives you 2 moles of aluminum. Now out of that, use something that's going to look a little bit like this, but not quite as badly drawn. Basically that means if you have moles of 1, you can use the mole ratio to determine the moles of 2. So N1 times N2 over N1 gives you N2. I'm just going to clear off the space here at the bottom, because what you can do in order to figure out chloride, you can take, if there's, for example, 16.4 moles of aluminum times your mole ratio which in this case is 3 moles of cupric chloride over 2 moles of aluminum, which will give you 24.6 moles of cupric chloride. Taking this times the mole ratio gives you moles of this. See? Because you can look, the moles of aluminum cancel out because that's underneath, so it gives you then the answer in moles of cupric chloride. Now, you can always go one step further with this to figure out mass and grams conversions. What that basically means is if you have 3.61 grams of aluminum, you can take it times for every one mole of aluminum, there are 26.98 grams of whoops, grams of aluminum, which is the molar mass from the periodic table, times your mole ratio again, times there are 63.55 grams of copper in every one mole which tells you that there are 12.8 grams of copper. Once again, you're starting with grams, but then you can take it to grams 1 to n1 times your mole ratio times, well, this would be the another ratio to get you to n2, which then gives you the second measurement in grams. That's all stoichiometry really is, is being able to convert a mass or moles of one substance in a reaction to the mass or moles of another substance in a reaction. It's pretty simple, but it takes a lot of work. Um, you have to be careful of sig figs, and make sure that your coefficients are exact, 
because they're done by counting. So when you have something like two moles of aluminum, this is exact, so that does not limit you to one sig fig. I know that was brief, but I don't know too much on the topic otherwise. So this should conclude episode 21 of Chemistry in 15 minutes or less. Feel free to leave questions or suggestions in the comments below. And be sure to follow the in-video links, check out the playlist, or head over to my channel for more videos on Chemistry Review. As always, I hope this was helpful, and have a nice night.